The lining and the garment are now wrong sides together. In order to sew the bottoms of the legs, garment to lining, we need the garment and the lining to be wrong sides together. So going to the bottom of the legs, we're going to separate the lining from the garment. You can do this either at the front or the back of the pants. And we are going to flip them around and put right sides together. Just like this, right at that corner edge, all raw edges together and put a pin there. From that point, you will work all the way across your leg pinning the lining to the garment right sides together and matching your side seam if the garment has a side seam. Now I'm going to do this again for you. Take this pin out. You will start. The garment is wrong sides together. We're going to separate at the corner of the leg lining from garment and we are going to flip those pieces of fabric around so that they are now right sides together at the corner of the leg and the crotch and put a pin to hold in place. Then we're going to work the garment and lining together pinning all the way across. Now the bottom of my pants leg is pinned garment to lining. We have to do this one leg at a time. When you are pinning them together, be careful not to stretch. Some fabrics stretch more than others and you do want that side seam to match. Everything matched together with no tucks, so don't stretch your fabrics. Now I'm going to show you how to sew this. To stitch the pants to the lining at the bottom, I'm going to use a quarter inch seam. So I'm using a quarter inch foot. I'm going to remove the pins as I come to them and carefully keep those raw edges together. Now you will notice the suit at this point is kind of a bit wadded up inside, but that's okay. When we turn this leg to the right side, it will all be straightened out again. Remember to keep your side seams, if you have side seams in your garment, to keep them matched. I like to back stitch at the beginning and end because when I get ready to put in my snaps or to sew my crotch seam, if we have not backstitched, it will want to pull out. Now, the next thing I will be doing will be trimming this seam and turning this leg to the right side. This is what the bottom of the leg looks like after the lining has been stitched to the garment and the seam trimmed a little. You will notice that the suit is wadded up inside, but now I'm going to turn the garment so that wrong sides are together again, just by reaching through and pulling the right side of the garment out. And now you can see the bottom of my finished leg. It is ready to be pressed, and then we will do the other leg exactly the same. This is what the bottom of a leg looks like after it has been pressed. Nice and crisp, lining on one side, suit fabric on the other side. For a small child or for a little girl, you can add a casing about halfway around the leg and run quarter inch elastic through. 
this gives it a little more of a baby look or a feminine look for a little girl. The other leg is done exactly the same.